guys so I stopped at the convoy truck shop at Budapest and I'm going to, to enter and to uh, search for a, a roof fixing kit I've heard from my colleague that if your roof uh, has a hole and it's not too big then you can uh, search for a kit you put uh, on the on the trailer roof and it, it should be okay so now I'm going to check it out if I if I find and we're going to use it together so I'm going to come back so the truck shops aren't good for truckers because I've got a lot of things <laughs> I'll, I've oh, bite everything I've got a, a gas stove which is uh, a little bit smaller than what I have uh, I want to keep here much closer than I keep the bigger one for coffee and for tea I've got two uh, uh, from this uh, for the gas stove I've got a microfiber for the dust and uh, microfiber detailing clothes they are saying and I've got um, oh, additional truck door lock improve your safety during the night and the rest hours so uh, we are going to put this I am searching uh, so it looks like this we are going to put this together I've got um, repairing kit for the for the hole on the roof I got one gray and one uh, invisible I don't know if it's allowed for me to come upstairs but I need to fix uh, very urgent because my loading tomorrow is going to be sensible for the rain and I don't want anything happen to it so it's essential now to resolve this problem first I cleaned with isopropyl alcohol the surface of the roof so the patch can make a perfect contact with the material of the roof After that, I try to position the patch so it covers all the holes and its edges are parallel with the trailer's edges. It's very important not to rush so you can place it without air bubbles. After placing it in a way that I liked, I pushed the patch so I made sure it has adhered. Now let's check out what we made. It feels rigid, it feels okay, it should keep the rain out of the trailer, so now let's hit the road. We should arrive uh, at the border crossing station, Slovakia, Czech uh, Republic. We are going to make there a 9 hour break and after that we are going to continue our journey towards uh, Holland.
arrived at the border crossing station. Now we have to take our go box. Uh, we uh, him we are going to pay in uh, Slo Slovakia the road tax so now we have to go and to put money on, on the box so let's go I'm going to show you how to do it so uh, this is how it looks like we don't have to take with us the back. Okay, so we need this coat and money. So let's go. Yeah, I parked pretty close to the line, but that's it. So uh, <laughs> I succeeded, now I'm going to go back to the truck and I'm going to make a 9 hour break. This is how the terminal looks in uh, Slovakia and Hungary's crossing border. So see you at the truck. Let's put this on the window so we won't forget later on that's why our windows become dirty <laughs> let's try our gusto uh, I am going to heat cabbage rolls with meat my mother made it at home. It's very healthy and uh, I'm going to eat because I am starving. So first I think I should put the cabbage rolls and then to start the fire. I usually try to bring from home um, homemade meals. I don't really eat uh, fast food because I try to stay healthy. You know, it's it's very hard to stay healthy while you are on the roads because you don't always have the time to prepare a, a meal. Well, let's burn our hands. <laughs> okay, I tried it before, down. It was okay. Okay, I don't see the... Uh, fire but I can hear it now we have to wait ages so so that's the meal the meat with the cabbage cabbage uh, it's a mixture of a pork and um, beef and rice sour cream you put on a top and you eat it by something like this what it's made at home it's made at home bon appetit for you too <laughs> and for me too i finished my meal i washed the dish and now i'm going to bed good night sweet dreams <laughs>